Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. The DailyBreadProject.com coming at you live 10 a.m. Eastern every weekday and Saturday right now. We have a guest coming on. I'm going to bring him on. Looks like he is here. And then we're going to launch this thing live to Facebook. If you're looking for us, thedailybreadproject.com is where you will find us. There's links to the Facebook page. There's links to subscribe and Google. And there's also a video playlist. If you're hearing this podcast and you're wanting to see the videos, that's where you find them. Ain't that special. So let me bring in my guest and bring us live to Facebook. And then we will rock with this. We are promoting YouTube panelists, my esteemed guest, and bringing us live to Facebook so that we can rock out, rock out, rock out with the daily bread. Bring the light, bring the love, bring the leadership that you need right now more than ever. Looks like. Zoom and Facebook are going to play nice together. There's some other software I want to try out too. I've just been afraid to mess up the flow here. It's a delicate balance here at the dailybreadproject.com. All right, we're going live to Facebook. Looks like everything's working there. I see my guests is in here. And uh, we're going to rock with this. So you are listening to thedailybreadproject.com. Thank you for tuning in. In a world full of darkness, where the media is making you afraid to talk to your neighbor, where everybody is going crazy and there's chaos on the markets, this is your light. This is where you find light, love, leadership, power, positivity, and everything that's good in the world is right here, thedailybreadproject.com. I cannot do it by myself. I have to enlist the help of other leaders in light. And today I have Mr. Tristan Eamon. What's up, my man? Hey, man. How are you doing? Good to be here. Oh, your volume's a little low. What are, you, are you mic'd up? I am. All right. Let's Make see if second. I can. Yeah, just see. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. It's just a little low. I'm going to just turn up my, my headphones. Hopefully it comes out all right on the recording. Let's see. You got that speaker. So how are you doing, my man? I'm doing really well, man. Well, let's rock with it. Just speak up. Pretend, okay, sounds pretend good. I can you're on the stage, man. A little closer here. <laughs> yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's let's rock with this, man. I'm I'm stoked that you're here. It's been a little while since we have wrapped, and uh, I'm glad that that you've uh, agreed to be on the daily bread with me. Yeah, and thanks I for wanna... joining, letting me come. That's awesome. I was excited. <laughs> yeah, I heard that last night. You're like nervous. I'm like nervous about what? <laughs> <laughs> well, want to make sure I'm ready, man. <laughs> there's that's it. You were born ready. This is it. So let's jump into this. We like to talk about power, positivity, leadership, love, and how you want to be remembered. So the first thing we're going to jump into today that I want you to share with our listeners is what would you say is your superpower? My superpower, uh, which maybe my wife would, would uh, be sad, sad about, uh, is I love to make people laugh. I love to make people smile. I'm the guy that at the cashier register will make a funny comment or something or a stupid comment just to get a smile out of them, just to make them say something, just to make their day better. So I always try to do my best to say something to another person to, to you know, make their day a little better. When I write my emails, they're not very business emails. They're very fluey kind of uh, conversational. And uh, I always try to throw a joke or two in there as well because I always want to put a smile on somebody's face. So uh, I think that's my... That's my superpower. Why is that important to you? It's important to me because I know how good that makes me feel when someone makes my day. So I'm always the person that wants to be the person that says, yeah, uh, you know, I, I helped that person along today. Um, it makes me feel great when they come back and say, yeah, thanks, man. We, we appreciate that. Um, and it always goes back to way back to my childhood. I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be the nice guy. I'm going to be the guy that that makes pot that makes people happy. 
Nice guy. Now, some some of us dudes over here would argue nice guys get trampled. So how how, how do you balance that, brother? And that has been my challenge because I have kind of grown up as the people pleaser, um, doing whatever it takes to uh, um, get people to like me kind of thing. Uh, even the, uh, you know, I don't love conversational or uh, uh, arguments. You know that kind of thing. So it gets it gets tough sometimes when the when it gets to the point where it becomes okay. Now you need to you need to stand up. Um, but I've learned that uh, over the past few years, especially that it's like no, this is this is who I am. This is what I am. If you don't agree with me, sorry about that. But have a good day. <laughs> I love it, man. So let's let's dive into positivity because everything. Well, ah. Uh... I have a skewed view of this because I don't really believe what I'm about to say. Uh, I'm about to say everything's wacky. The world is chaotic. I don't believe all of that, but I know that a lot of people do. And so how do you keep yourself with all the media, with all the press, with all the people talking smack? How do you keep yourself positive? Uh, I do that mostly by uh, uh, making sure I am conscious of what I am looking at, what I'm reading, what I'm not reading. Uh, there's this uh, lovely thing called snooze on Facebook, which I've used considerably a lot the last few weeks, especially when the people who are only talking about numbers and only talking about uh, deaths to the world, they just get snooze for 30 days because I, I don't need to see that every day. I can be aware of what's going on without being constantly uh, reading about the negativity and this is going on and this is and we're all going to die that kind of thing uh so the, the first thing there is yeah it's just it's watching what you um watching what you read watching what you're what you're eating you know the diet kind of idea uh and then second of all it's just a matter of um i've got a deep-seated belief that there's good that's going to come out of this uh and I, I see the goodness in everyday life even now with the different things going on, uh, families being together, and um, you, you see uh, the the corporations even saying, "Hey, you're a, you're a person and not a number. Let me help you with this. Let me help you with that." Uh, and people are starting to realize that you know this is a people economy and not just a you know not just a corporation. So I, I see all these things through this crisis, and uh, I, I see people being more peopley. Mm -hmm. And I, as as that as we move forward, I, I hope to see that continue. Uh, and I just, I look, so I look for the good stuff. I see the good stuff and I read the good stuff. Um, I love uh, that John Krasinski, when he does the, uh, so, so the, uh, the good things podcast, all these things I like to, to, you know, to look at so that I stay positive and say, Hey, good stuff's coming. I like it, man. So you, you've got a, a filter in place. Mm -hmm. so what, what are some of the things that you do then to, protect yourself you said the snooze on facebook watching what you're taking in and any other like tactical tips that you're using to protect your mind and protect your positive space right so uh i certainly uh, attempt in the morning to you know do do uh, gratefulness waking up with the right mindset in place um not delving into the because uh, there, there comes a time when you can start delving into that the negative downside, you know, start thinking about things and then oh, what about this? Well, what about that? What about this? And that's times when I can stop and say, wait, stop. This is not where I want to go with this. And then, then uh, actually my wife and I've kind of been able to kind of flip the script a little bit and say, okay, let's say this happens. Uh, let's say that happens. And uh, if nothing else, uh, we go live on a beach somewhere. So, you know, we, we've basically made it a positive, positive thing by saying, you know, even if all the economy dies and we're uh, out of everything, you know, hey, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. We'll, we will survive. We will, we will even um, succeed in, in uh, living happy, even if we're on a beach somewhere, living in a den. Even if we're on a beach somewhere, like it's a bad thing. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, we're, <laughs> us inlanders, you know, we like the beach, so. <laughs> uh, sounds good to me. All right, so. Let's uh, let's go back to how you constructed this. Were you always on this positive path or did you have to do some work? Because I've slid down that. I, I was doing it this morning in my meditation. I allowed myself to grab onto a bad thought and it started to sink me. And I had to say, is that serving me? And so what kind of work have you done 
were you always like this or is it a muscle that you've built up over time? Tell us a little oh, more about I, that. I wish I could say it. I've always been like this, but I'm the king of negativity for a while. It was, oh my goodness. Um, and uh, I think just so much has happened that we've been able to, and when I say we, uh, my, my wife and I, we talk a lot about these things um, and she really helps me uh, as, as especially kind of keep me on track too. Um, uh, I start, you started looking at things in a positive light instead of the negative light. And that just, and that, that is just something that, that started growing. You know, we realized that we were looking so much at the negative and this is wrong, this is wrong, that we needed to start looking this way and then start to start to do that. It was just a matter of changing the mindset, just making those changes uh, of, no, this is, I'm not going to think this, I'm going to think this. Uh, and then, um, uh, the meditation pieces have helped the, um, a lot of times in those meditations, okay, working on you. We've done things like um, start writing out, okay, um, if this were to happen, what 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 what's, what's, what's comes in your mind? What all is going to happen? So you know, write fifty things about uh, if if you were to, to make a million dollars today, you know, write down fifty things. Well, how does that make you feel? And when you just start writing stuff, you realize, oh, that I I think that I'm concerned about that. And then you can start to say, okay, let's what can we do to 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 erase that and then and work on that. So I think it's just kind of been a a growth period for, for one, uh, but also just a, a a consistent. Okay, we need to meditate. We need to think the right things. We need to have the gratitude exercises. We need to have all these things in place. Um, and I was doing really well at kind of the morning routine where it's meditation and the gratitude. You know, a few years ago, I'm not as great at it now, but during that time, it was a really great growth period too. Wait, because wait it was a second. Like, wait a second. Don't even try to run past that. Why? Oh, why? Yeah. Na- why is that not happening now? What's going on? Um, I just got out of the habit, quite honestly. I still have the, so I, I can call it like a mini meditation, I guess. I, I, I'm, I'm aware of where I'm at. I'm aware of, of my thoughts. I'm aware of where, uh, where, I'm, where I'm going. Um, but I don't, maybe don't spend the, the actual time sitting down in the chair, uh, writing and reading and, and uh, the actual physical, just letting, letting it go um, as I should be. And uh, yeah, I need to get back into that for sure. Uh, just what's stopping you know you? life i guess you know excuses? um what yeah excuses yeah <laughs> yeah man you're good at always calling me out that's what you do you're welcome I, i'm I'm, yeah. I'm here to share what i can with you but yeah i love I, mean, <laughs> I, I love the positivity and i love the uh, morning routine and i i hate to see that sacrifice for anything yeah. So that's why sure. I, I'm mentioning it. So cool. All right. Positivity is a choice is what I hear you saying. And it's a muscle that you have to work on uh, regularly. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I think it's something about- that you don't just mess, you don't just um, let it be. It's, it's, yeah, it's something that you think about. It's yeah. I, I was listening to Tony Robbins this morning, and he's like, "You don't go to the gym once and get get an aerobic workout, and you're done. You gotta you gotta keep going. You gotta do it daily. You gotta you gotta have a routine." And I was like, "Yeah, you're right. Yes, <laughs> yes, Uncle Tony, you're correct." Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's uh, move on to uh, one of my favorite topics, and and in fact, this is uh, the basis for the show. I say we're bringing the light. And I, I have an acronym, Leadership in Good and Hard Times. And everybody pretends to be a great leader when things are good. And we're seeing true colors nowadays uh, with things going a little bit uh, different or uh, harder. So what, uh, what would you say has changed or has been updated in your leadership with your family, with your team, with your clients, any or all of that? Okay. So, um, I'm started, started looking at, okay, what can I do during this, this time? You know, I'm, uh, I'm not, we're not the, the family that goes out, out to eat a lot. So it's not something that we can, we don't support, you know, the local businesses as much because we never did before. You know, we always, we always ate at home. We always cooked at home. Um, so I'm trying, I was trying to come up with, okay, what's, what's next. And the, the thing that I was like, well, if nothing else, I know how to use Facebook. I know how to, how to how get on a video. I can, I can talk. I can speak about things that that not only important to, to me, but that can hopefully inspire someone to to calm down, to relax. You know. So I uh, last year I started this um, 
every day showing up thing like Mr. Jonathan talked about calling the called the mindfulness minute and uh, so I've kind of morphed that this year into a mindfulness minute taking care of you and I want to make sure that the people that listen were like uh, understand that yeah you know you need to to take care of yourself before you can help everybody else uh, so my my thought forms have been that way on on helping people in in that way just to be the the, the mindset change keeping your yourself uh, healthy during this time, uh, especially, and just kind of really honing in on h- helping someone through through this time through word, through podcast, or you know, or through video uh, as much as possible. Why is that um, important to you, Tristan? Like, why is it that you feel like you need to get on there and and spread that positivity, spread that mindfulness minute? Why is that important to you? It's something that's real to me, I guess. Um, it's something that I feel like I have a I, I have. And uh, I have a little bit of knowledge of, and I want to sh- be able to spread that, share that. I guess at this point, it's a little more of a, even a, uh, what's the right word here? Uh, it, it, even it's like, yeah, I want, I want to get that out. Um, there's a piece of me that wants to move forward in in speaking in the future as well. So there's a part of that. There's there's practice. There's you know, I want to get known that kind of thing. But at this point, it's just, hey, how can how can I help you move along? And it's, you know, I know I see I hear that a lot in my what I'm saying here is, is helping others. And so I guess that's a, a good part of who I am. And it's always been a part of who I am. Even in my real estate business, working with my clients has always been, how can I help you? How, what can we do to be uh, that type of person for you? Um, so that's just a big part of who I am, is the, is the person that wants to do everything you can to help the other person uh, without, of course, sacrificing who I am or sacrificing that part of me. Does that answer the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, we we talked about the the mindfulness minute. What about at home? How has leadership has it changed at all? Is there anything different? You got kids in college. You got all kinds of stuff going on. So, how are you leading differently, or is it, is anything different at all? Right. It's not a lot different at home, and a lot of that is the fact that the kids are all grown. I mean, the youngest is seventeen. The oldest is twenty three. All four of them are home now. We got the kid home from college, of course, since they closed down. Um, so uh, everybody kind of does their own thing and, uh, we're, we as parents are very, uh, make sure you are independent child and do your own thing. We're there of course to help them and you know, make sure that they're getting their calculus done and that kind of thing. Uh, but we can't help them with the calculus. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but, but I think, um, we are, we're making sure that we have a calm head about all this, that we have conversations with the kids about what they think and where they are in it. In it. Um, we make sure that we are un- explain to them our thought forms on the whole, on everything that's going on. How are they uh, taking and, it? Um, mostly uh, they're very, um, they're very smart kids. So they can not only see all the information, but then they can also see through all the information. Uh, so, you know, most, most of it has been very, yeah, no, we'll, we're, we're young, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how that comes out in the end, but as far as, especially as far as them and their attitude during this. Um, but we're just trying to, as parents, just simply, just simply be there and be the calm level head in the, in the middle of the storm, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I love it, man. All right, so let's move on. We've, we've talked about power, positivity, leadership. Now it's time for love. What opportunities do you love right now? What are you seeing that is awesome? Gets your heart pounding. Things like this. This was an exciting opportunity for me just to, to get on live of, uh, and, uh, and chat with you, especially since I know the, the kind of person that you are and what you're doing. Um, the other things that I've been loving to do is uh, during this time is I've got some ideas for some uh, videos, start putting those videos together. Um, I, I've, you know, as you know, I sell real estate here in Rapid City. So I've been starting doing some different type of relocation type videos. And so I'm starting to put those together. Uh, and that's kind of exciting to me to think about how I have the time now to do a lot of those. Uh, so today I'll be spending some time editing and putting all those together. And uh, that has, has been exciting to me. It's just the, the time frame that I have now to do stuff. Um, we still have a, a, an okay market here in Rapid City, but it's definitely slower than a normal spring market. Uh, so I'm taking for, taking advantage of the time to, to do some stuff and, and to really hone in on uh, what I want to do uh, moving forward. Um, it's a little bit piece by piece because it's like, okay, well, I know I can do this, but 
what's going to happen, you know, maybe things change in a month or two. So, you know, I'm trying to do stuff that's evergreen that'll be here for a while um, and not trying to not try to focus so much on the short term. Uh, and that's, that's a lot of what I've been doing and enjoying doing in the process. Love it, man. Love it. So this is probably my favorite question. Uh, you want to save those for the end. I, I have, you, you know, I, I have a format now. I, I've decided <laughs> yeah. to have a format. I, I, I'm all official because I just slapped this thing together in the beginning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so here, here's, here's what, what I want to ask you. Five years from now, everything is normal. Everything's awesome. Everything is as it should be. You look back at this time. How do you want to be remembered? I want to look. I want. Uh, I want to look back and say, you know what? Uh, people remember if Tristan w- was there to encourage us to uh, spread positivity, like you mentioned, uh, to give ideas and hints on how to move along and and keep ourselves in, in the best possible shape as possible through all of this. Tristan was always there, throwing his nuggets out there. He wasn't asking for anything. He wasn't trying to, uh, you know, spread uh, a certain um, religion or anything. He was just trying to help. He was just trying to speak. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, I, I was glad he was there for this time. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of talking, uh, through the beginning of the year and into, and past the first couple of weeks of the virus thing, cause there's so much noise going on. Um, when I did get back into it and said, Hey, everybody, I'm here for you. Here's my mindfulness minute. A lot of people just came back and say, Hey, thanks. I'm glad you're back. I've been missing your positivity. So I'm hoping when, uh, they look back, they say, yeah, Tristan was there to, to keep us going, to keep us moving. Love it. Throw us some, throw us some love. Love it, love it, love it, man. So as we're coming up to the end here, anything else that you want to share? Any thoughts, any ideas, any nuggets that you want to put out there to the Daily Bread listeners? Um, I think the one of the m- most important things that we're learning through all this is, um, is an attachment. A lot of times when we have a fear about something is because we're attached to that idea. So we are attached to um, um, having this workout. You know, we're, a lot of times it comes to like if we're in a real estate deal. Uh, I'm, if I'm attached to the end of this procedure, you know, I'm fearful the whole process. Well, will the inspection break down? Will the appraisal, you know, mess up? All these certain things will will be uh, a fear for me because I'm attached to the paycheck at the end instead of just you know being okay with the process. And I think what we need to learn and we need to understand is that as we go through this journey, the less attached we are to the final result, the easier it's going to be just to flow through and just to let, let life be perfect as it is, which is hard to say right now through this time, but it is what it is. And by letting ourselves move from, from spot to spot and rolling with the punches, so to speak, life's going to be a lot easier. It's just going to be simpler by unattaching to the final outcome and unattaching to the emotion of that outcome. So if nothing else, there's my final. I like which, it. Which, which a lot of that came from Sarah. So throw, throw my hat off to, to my wonderful wife. Yes. Yes. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, even though Tristan is not p- pushing any agenda with religion or anything like that, I am pushing my Catholic agenda saying what he just described as faith. He's calling it flow. He's calling it being unattached. I'm saying putting it to faith, whatever your faith is, and allowing things to happen and putting your trust in your higher being. Mine is God. Yours can be whoever you want it to be. Uh, Tristan, where can people find you when they are looking for you? Um, My name will get you almost anywhere on the internet. Uh, Tristan Eamon, at Tristan Eamon on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is um, Rapid Rapid City Homes Online. You'll find that on Facebook. You'll find my business page on Facebook, and you know, you type in Tristan name, and you'll be, uh, you'll be, uh, I'll see me all over the place. That was kind this of the guy, whole thing. He's been doing work. He's been, he's been <laughs> laying breadcrumbs forever. Tristan, thank it's you so much for being here. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for bringing the light. This has been another episode of the Daily Bread Project. Dot com. We bring you your daily nourishment to uplift your spirit, to help you live a better life, and to help you be healthier wealthier, and happier. We love you guys, and we will see you on the next one.